Movie opens up with the appearance of Mafia bosses gathering on a cruise ship, one of which is Jimmy Coogan. Jimmy teamed up with other Mafia bosses to catch and kill Don. But this plan is discovered by Don, who very cleverly sneaks a spy between the meaning of the Mafia boss. Then scene changes to Bangkok, Thailand, where Don will conduct drug transactions with Jimmy Coogan's henchmen. It turned out that Jimmy Coogan and the gang wanted to frame Don, to finish him off. Then a fight broke out, Don with his strength and intelligence could easily defeat them. Shoot <laughs> Then the setting of the film changed again in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where we are shown with Ms. Priyanka Chopra who plays the role of a police officer, her name is Roma. Then there is also Arjun a policeman who becomes Rome's friend, and he seems to have a crush on him. Sin was replaced with a meeting between Rome and Mr. Malik. Mr. Malik plans to resign after 37 years in the police force, but before retiring he wants Roma to help him catch Don. After the meeting, Mr. Malik and Roma came out of the room. When they got out of the elevator, they were suddenly surprised by the arrival of Don. Suddenly they immediately pointed their guns at Don and told him to turn himself in. After being handcuffed, Don was interrogated, but he shamelessly asked Mr. Malik for a letter of impunity. Of course, Mr. Malik refused, because Don was wanted by the police in several countries. Finally, without a fight, Don was put in prison. Then in prison, Don meets his enemy, namely Varhan. Varhan has a grudge against Don, because he was imprisoned by him. So vengeful, even imprisoned Varhan tried to kill him. But again Don can beat Varhan, and he cunningly invites him to work together to escape from prison. A few days later, Don carried out his plan, so that he and Varhan could quickly get out of prison. With his ingenuity, he ordered Varhan to mix laxatives into the prisoner's food. Then when all the police are busy with the prisoners who are in pain, due to the poisoned food, Don and Varhan come out of the police station disguised as police officers. Unfortunately, the news of Don and Varhan's escape was immediately known to Mr. Malik and Roma. After successfully escaping, Don and Varhan came to the entertainment venue. There Don meets Aisha, a woman who always helps him carry out all his evil plans. At the entertainment venue, Don devises a plan of course involving Varhan, because the key to this plan lies with Varhan. Eventually they fly to Zurich, where Don will take a CCTV tape that he will use as a weapon to threaten someone. The tape slides a secret from the chairman of the DBZ bank who had cheated to defend his position, where he involved the representative, Diwan, to interrupt his rival. With the CCTV tape, Don plans to steal the printed money from the DBZ central bank in Berlin. He will use Diwan to carry out his plan. To smooth the plan, Don also invites Samir to work together, where he is a reliable computer hacker. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Mr. Malik contacted Roma that the German police saw Don and Varhan's car in Berlin. Mr. Malik wants Roma to arrest them, so he sends Roma to Berlin and attends a charity event, where they will meet with intelligence director Klaus Wetlands. Long story short, the charity event was held, Don apparently also attended the event with Aisha. He even wears her thick Roshan's mask so as not to be caught. As the dance begins, Don tells Aisha to approach Diwan the vice president of DBZ Bank to tuck something into his coat pocket. Don's plan begins. After Aisha finished her assignment, Don immediately returned to the car, he also called Diwan and told him to come to his car. When he saw the video Don gave, Diwan panicked, where the video showed his involvement in the death of James, the candidate for chairman of the DBZ Central Bank. Worried that the video would spread widely, he immediately went to see Don. Meanwhile, Roma who had danced with her thick alias Don was suspicious, then he immediately looked for his whereabouts. His suspicions were confirmed after Don removed his mask in the car. Roma, along with his partner Arjun, immediately chased after Don. And there was a chase. In the car Don told Diwan what he wanted, that he wanted an information tape about where to store the printed euro notes at the DBZ Central Bank. Diwan firmly refused Don's wish, because he did not have the power to give the tape. Then Don gave him 24 hours and threatened Diwan with the video. Then Diwan, frustrated by Don's threats, secretly met an executioner, he named Jabbar. The next day Diwan met Don to hand over the tape. They met in front of the church, then Don came on a tour bus and told Diwan to ride it. After the tape was in hand, Don rushed off. But on the way he realized he had been followed by Jabbar and his men. Until finally a fight broke out, where Don was easily able to defeat them. Hey!
but again Don made his enemy a friend. He invites Jabbar to cooperate and follows his plan, Jabbar agrees. When the cassette was checked, Don realized that the cassette Diwan had given him was a blank cassette. So he called him, using Jabbar's cell phone, and asked him for the original tape. After the original cassette was obtained, Don and the team divided the tasks to carry out the plan. In his team Don has Samir, Aisha, Vardhan and Jabbar and his men. The plan begins with Samir, who explains the security at the moneymaker's storage building, where the building has a very complicated security. Then they divided the tasks. Vardhan will disguise himself as Interpol to get Dr. Schneider. Meanwhile, Jabbar and his men are responsible for the firearms that will be used in the theft plan. Then Samir will disguise himself as a surveillance team in the building. And Don himself will be the executor, where he will take the printout. And all the plans went smoothly, just as Don had hoped. Good afternoon, sir. I'm here for my appointment with Dr. Schneider. Take letter, I got. But suddenly the explosion of bombs and guns sounded inside the building, so the employees panicked and scrambled out of the building. When the chaos ensued, all the police moved to the scene, Rome was no exception. While inside the building, Don had managed to get the printouts. But unexpectedly, it turns out that Varhan and Jabbar betrayed Don, they want to have the Prince of the Money and kill him immediately. But he is the manipulative and cunning human Don. But Don still handed over the stolen goods to Varhan and left the building through the aqueduct. When he left the building, Don was confronted by the police. Apparently it was Samir who reported it to the police. But with his intelligence, he uses Diwan to help him get an impunity certificate so that he can be free. Diwan who couldn't do much because his secret was in Don's hands agreed. Finally the Don was released. Then he re-entered the building with Roma and his fellow cops to rescue the employees who were being held hostage. There was a fight and shootout between Don and Jabbar's men. But Don managed to beat them. Then they fought Vardhan and Jabbar. There was a pretty fierce battle. Even Roma was shot by Jabbar so that he was unconscious. With emotion, Don immediately beat them both until he finally managed to win. After successfully rescuing the hostages and defeating Varhan, Don got his impunity certificate and he got away from all punishment. Then, even more surprising, all of Don's enemies were arrested by the police. Jimmy Coogan, Varhan, and even the chairman of DBZ Bank, Fabio Cole were also arrested. At the end of the story, it turns out that there are so many plot twists. Where the original prints of the Euro notes were already in Don's hands, while the prints that exploded with Diwan were fakes. Don was right that he always had plans far ahead of his enemies. No wonder Don has a lot of enemies, he's too smart, then the movie ends. <laughs>